Hi everybody and welcome. So to the next month, it's the 29th of May, so I posted the uh, other video yesterday. So I know we're still in May, but this is how my month goes. It's easier to do and I've got the craft fair tomorrow. Empty shelves. I'll show you the mess. So everything's packed up. I can get quite wide angled on this phone. It's quite good. So um, everything's packed up. Shelves are empty. And this is a chance I get to polish them. Otherwise, because sometimes you have to take all your felts down. Um, I've run out of room <laughs> to put my felts in my normal boxes. So that should mean that I've got enough. And I've got my plants out. Give them a water. Um, and um, get everything ready for packing up tomorrow. There we go. All crammed in. So this is the craft fair I go to. It's at Yummy Yorkshire. They sell ice cream and it's in Denby Dale. It's market in the barn. Um, and this is my stand. It's a really lovely place. I sold about £309. So I was really pleased. But it does look like I've got quite a few bits there. So I did really well. Hi everyone. So it's... Um... I did my craft fair, you saw that. So it's the 31st, the day after my craft fair. It's actually, and I didn't think about this when I started it, it's, or when I booked it, it's a uh, bank holiday Monday, and I am doing my first Zoom felt along with my patrons, where we're just gonna, I'm just grabbing a cup of tea and I'm felting, and anyone is free to join me from, it's great because I think there's gonna be a couple of ladies from the other side of the world. So it's just fantastic. We can all have the technology to get together and to felt together. So I'm really nervous, I've got eight minutes to go and um, I don't know if the link's all gonna work. I did a practice uh, link run or as a practice scene with my family earlier on today. So hopefully it'll all work, but I am nervous. Um, even though, you know, it's fine, it's lovely and they're such lovely ladies, but we'll see how it goes. I've got my cup of tea and I've got something to felt, which is still the horse which I'm still doing, and um, I might see you on the other side and let you know how it went. See you in a bit. Well, just finished um, my Zoom felt along, and I don't know why I was nervous. It was absolutely fantastic. It was brilliant, and luck technically it all went well as well. So we were on for two hours, and just so lovely to be able to ask questions and to meet people. I didn't felt at all because we were just so busy chatting. Um, brilliant so really really loved it and thoroughly recommend doing it if anyone you know has a patreon or is thinking about doing some sort of zoom with other people yeah really good so thanks everybody who um, attended and I'll be doing more of those in the future hi everyone so it's the fourth and guess what it's one of those deliveries it's exciting when they arrive just show you the colors because I always think it's fun for you guys to see Look at that mix, it's really, really good. It's got a real, yeah, shine in it. That is Peacock whoop, by Adam, because the World of Wheel team did their own mixes a while ago, and they're going to redo them again soon, I think. This is Lynx, really interesting colour combo. I just love all those colour combos for doing fun Highland cows. And then this one... One of my patrons ordered this recently, Twinkle Twinkle. So that's a really lovely mix of colours. And then I just went for, I like the name, Shetland Butterscotch. Isn't that beautiful? And then a couple of others. Ooh, Fawn Baby Alpaca. And then I've got all my Highland Cows and some Core Wool. I really, I've been really enjoying using this uh, carded Cheviot Slither which is fantastic for wrapping things so fun stuff to play with i love that one love that peacock one thanks adam hi felter so it's the fifth um i just made a video this morning about how much i've earned for one year on youtube because i think it's quite interesting for people to see so that's not one year monetized that's one year from the start um so i sort of all of a sudden I get the energy and I think, oh, I'll make a video, I'll do that really quickly. And I've got two other really good, simple starter videos as well that I want to put out. I might do them tomorrow. Um, it's the weekend and my husband's working all weekend, so it doesn't feel like the weekend. So, um, and it's really hot and there's builders behind us and they're tarmacking, so there's a really strong tarmac smell in the air. But anyway, um, I'm also redesigning my mugs and um, I'm going to have water bottles and 
canvas tote bags because I sort of had a design like that for needle felting. I've got lots of sort of needle felting sayings like needle felting addict, live to felt, felt to live, weekends of felting, things that you know I would want as a needle felter. So I'm just redesigning them and I'll have some to show you all at some point. Um, but yeah, it just takes a while, it just takes ages to sort of get the pictures, put them on Etsy and sort of sort it all out. Um, I've got a really good video in the planning, hopefully with Crafty Fibers UK. And then I've got some new things that I'm emailing lots of people about for, it's probably not gonna happen until everything opens around the 21st. So it probably wouldn't be till next month or even the month after. Um, and there's just loads of little ideas in my head as well. I'm trying to do my Patreon. On my Patreon, I've got a little challenge, which I told you about the prizes. So I'm trying to do my uh, one as well. Not that I will be put in for the prizes, but obviously because I take part in the challenge too. And I'm still doing that horse commission. So yeah, busy, busy. Let's get on with it. So here's the start of my challenge. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. You can wait and see doesn't have to be neat on the inside, just has to be able to stand. the puffin so he's done I was quite pleased with him did do him quite quickly his wings could be um better felted but I really just had to rush on and get it done and his feet could have been designed a bit better but he's really he's quite sweet he's quite big as well so look, there's my hand so really pleased with him and I haven't done much else lately um and then I sold couple of big two big items off my shelf so I've got a craft fair on the 3rd of July and we are the 9th of June I have got a lot of felting to do and I'm um, just cracking on with my horse which I'll show you in a bit just finished another one of these for a friend it's all done I do like that color range I think it works really well and that's all I had left over so I didn't have much wool so there we go it's all done looking cute ready to be packed up Hi everyone welcome it's the 14th of June it's a Monday I feel like I haven't been doing that much felting I think I have done some I did um a little another little highland cow which I just showed you so that's gone off um, I'm doing the horse, I'll show you that in a minute, but I, my, my to-do list is quite big, really, and I will, I do keep crossing off a few things, but there's never enough time, is there, to do everything, but I'm going to make a, um, let me show you what with, I'm going to make my own needle felting mat, because I sort of had a, uh, an idea to review needle uh, felting mats, because there's so much, there's so many out there, and I've done a little bit of mats in one of my videos, but I'd like to do it in more depth, but I'm going to make my own. It's something I've wanted to do. And I'm going to use this um, sort of, I don't know, I suppose you call it a bat, to go on top and it's beautiful colours. So that's going to be the outside of my um, needle felting mat. So I, I haven't done any wet felting, so it'll be really interesting, but I've seen... Um, I've read up on a way to do it, which I think would be quite easy. So I'm going to do a video on that and hopefully you'll have seen that by now. And then I'm also going to do um, a review of eight different types of mats and that's going to be one of them. So that'll be cool. Um, I'll just show you the horse, how that's coming along.
here's the horse. It's coming along. Sorry about the needle. Um, and he's got, or she has got dapples on her legs. Um, so it's just taken me a while. I've done the hooves, started the dapples, working my way up the body. The head looks a bit funny at the moment, but if you go like that, it will. It looks like a horse's head. And this horse does have very long legs as well. Um, so even though you think, oh gosh, are those legs too long? When I when I keep looking at it, I think it's fine. So it's coming along, and I've I have been a little bit stuck with this horse, um, but I feel I am getting there now. So very pleased so far, and um, I'll get this horse done, and then I can get on with. I just want to felt some other bits and pieces for my craft fair and then get on with my horse course as well. So there we go, that's it so far. Um, I've got some happy mail here, which I'm going to open. Let me just show you. It's beautiful. It's from Made With Fluff Fibre Crafts. That is a really nice stamp. And Made With Love, beautiful little sticker. So this is one of my patrons. She just created her shop and I went and had a look. And I just fell in love. There's a little note. Oh, isn't that pretty? And I, oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at that. I love the presentation. That's really good. Look at that. That is so fantastic. And then there's a handwritten note for me to have a read. Oh, look at that. Look at that puffing. Can you see it? Sorry, because of the reflection. That is so pretty. I'm so happy with this. I think she needs to put her prices up. Oh, let's get him out. Oh, isn't he adorable? I really needed a bookmark. And this, I just saw it. I was just like, I have to get it. Ah, so thank you so much. Made with fluff on Etsy. Go and get your bookmarks. They're lovely. And she does some other bits and bobs too. This is just a little uh, video insert of my trip to see needle bugs in the North York Moors. Their work, Katie and Linda, this absolutely stunning. And I did a whole long interview, walk around the farm, beautiful. So really recommend having a look at that video. I will link it at the end. Hi, Felters. So I made this little guy. Just Oh, I had my hair done as well. Had it cut off. So hope you like it. A little bit blonder for summer. Um, so I made this little guy getting ready for the craft fair. He's a little cutie. And then <clears throat> I'm going to make something with this lot. Blue-faced blue Lester. It's a lovely world. Um, and you're going to follow me whilst we make that. Well, so there we go. I um, kind of just went through it and made that one. Sorry I didn't film, but we're going to follow the next one. But um, I was really pleased. Um, although it did take quite a lot of the wool up it's a bit like when I do the valets you do need tons of wool but yeah that's ready for my craft fair and then um there was quite a lot of the blue faced Leicester ends which I've kept as core wool by the way you can do that and then I'm just gonna make this highland cow for my craft fair with this beautiful colour it's really quite nice, actually. I think it's got a lot of highlights in it. It's called Lynx from Lynx from World of Wool. So I will show you a bit of that. But it's a very typical Highland cow shape that I'm doing. Nothing exciting. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll follow that. And then we're getting towards the end of the month. So let's get going with this one. Just to show you, I 
finally finished the horse. I'm really happy with her. She's really sweet. The mane and tail, once they're on, looks so much, much better. But yeah, very pleased with her in the end. I hope you like her. So here he is all done. Hopefully you can see him there. And I'm really pleased with the colour. I really like that as a Highland cow shade. He's really simple. He's exactly the same design as my one of my PDFs on my Etsy shop. So if you're wondering how to make him, go and have a look there. There's a link in the description. But yeah, I'm really happy. I think he'll I think he'll sell. So I was quite pleased with his face as well. His eyes I always end up covering the eyes, but I've tried to sort of show them a bit more because I did a little bit more work on the eyes. So there we go. So um, that's it for this monthly makes or studio vlog. Um, let's have a look at some of your makes. So this here is Felting Hands by Malika and she hasn't been felting that long again. But look at her stuff. It's absolutely beautiful. It's very distinct and very unique and it's really well branded. Um, I love the these balloon animals, the rabbits and the elephant. I think they're so beautiful. Let's have a look at her shop. She's done a fantastic look at the branding here. Really beautifully done. Lovely images, lovely colourings. Um, and we'll just go down, we'll have a look at one of her items just to see has she got video. I think she has. So look at that, it's beautiful rabbit. Um, lovely colours. But for to have not been felting long, and again, the video makes all the difference, people. It's really, really good idea to get that video on Etsy. So um, thank you, Malika, for contacting me. Beautiful shop. Uh, if anyone else wants to be featured, just contact me through Instagram. So that's it for this month. Thanks for joining me. I am definitely going to be doing Sheldon Sheep from the World of Wool kit. That's going to be one of my next videos out. And I do have lots more planned, but I'm going to spend the next week doing some makes for my craft fair, which you will see next month. So thanks for joining me, everybody. Take care and see you soon.